Okay, so I've got a Chicago Electric spade handle drill, half inch heavy duty. So I've seen some reviews on some of these Chicago Electric tools. People are like uh, using the recip saw and jamming it with another one and making the thing catch on fire. That is not legit how you would use the tool. So that doesn't tell me whether or not I want to buy it or not. So this is the Chicago Electric. You know, some of these things uh, are great. Some of them are not so great. You can see they're actually using it to mix on the box. So that's what this thing is made for. All right. So we got, because this is a brush motor, so we got a, a extra set of brushes here. So that doubles the life. You know, you wear it out, you stick a new pair of brushes on there, you're good to go. Chuck seems to be good. It's the old style with the chuck key, which is what you want, because this thing here is made low gear for high torque. It's not high speed, it's high torque. So that means that whenever uh, you're using this under a load, you're going to um, not want that bit to slip. All right, so this just screws on here and tight I mean that'll work there good heavy duty you can put this on it's got three different adjustments I'm gonna put it like this all right so we got multiple ways that we can mount these handles we got uh, the side mount handle we got the back handle all right Okay, pretty good, heavy filling tool. We got a forward and reverse. Looks like it's just got the little flip switch, you know, kind of old school. Not real robust, it's plastic, but I mean, don't see why it won't work. All right, you notice this cord, it's kind of a heavier duty cord than a lot of them. Just trying to look on the markings here so it is an 18 gauge wire I would have thought that would have been a 14 but good enough something I do know that if you are running a long extension cord if you run a real small uh, cheap, you know, they I've bought some 150 foot extension cords for ten dollars off of Amazon running some cameras. That's not the kind of extension cord I would want with this. Uh, with this thing here, I want to do a good heavy duty extension cord that way I make sure I got plenty of power going to it. If you run a small extension cord over a long period of uh, distance, that's going to mess up with your uh, draw, overheat that cord. Um, so to see what this thing will do, I've got this extra large spiral pro mixer. I got this from Home Depot. Um, I looked at the reviews and a lot of the reviews on this were five star and a lot of them were one star. Most of the one star said that, uh, it burnt their drill up. So I expect that they probably used just a regular drill not a uh, low gear drill like this. This thing has got the gears to make it go slow, but gives it more torque. So to test this out, I've got 500 pounds. I forget my shop, it's a mess right now. But uh, I've got 500 pounds of uh, mortar mix, which is the CSA cement. It's um, 15 minutes till it sets and uh, one hour till it's completely structurally hard. So. With that being said, it's going to start setting up super quick, which means it's going to put a more of a bind, especially if you're not quick, on uh, this drill. So what better way 
you know, we could mix up some drywall mud. That's not going to get that hard. Uh, we could even mix up some regular concrete, but that's going to stay, you know, just as soupy as whatever you put the water in with it. So uh, let me pause this camera because with this uh, CSA, once I uh, get to mixing, I got to move fast because we only got 15 minutes uh, before that stuff sets. So. Alright, so I've got me about a gallon of water in the bucket here. Okay, so we got a gallon of water in our bucket. I'm gonna pour this in here. I'm gonna put the whole bag of fit. We're not going to take our time. We're going to try to do this whole thing at once. And we're going to put that uh, grill to the test there. All right. Okay, so this has been a couple of months. I haven't went back to look at the date of when I originally filmed the unboxing of this drill. I planned on getting out, doing the slow motion, whatever, showing me mixing some concrete like a lot of people do, but everybody who's looking at this has used the drill before. So um, I was going to do that, and it just didn't work out. The concrete I was going to mix with it, I was having some problems with my molds, so I didn't want to take the time to film. Um, but I used a mixed blade. It was used on a five gallon bucket, 50 pound bags of CA concrete. This thing did fabulous on them. It um, has worked perfectly. I had some 12 inch hole, five eighths holes I needed to drill in a concrete slab. I uh, hooked that up, I used it not a single problem um, was at another job I had some like two and three eighths holes I needed to drill um, some hole saws these metal beams and again I found me grabbing this tool here and it has worked um, I wouldn't say flawlessly but for the price uh, I think with the coupon I paid about $35 for it so here are the things I don't like this little switch right here you can see I had originally in my very first video, I went out and back and watched it, but I said something about how flimsy it feels. I still say it's flimsy and it's held up so far, but it is very easy to bump. And I caught myself um, trying to uh, drill and it's getting bumped in reverse, so you have to keep an eye on that. Uh, something I really like is it's got this big trigger. So, a big trigger, I guess it's made for gloves, and this here you can work with the gloves, but. Um, I still don't like that little selector uh, once I was drilling and accidentally hit that and um, somewhere I'm not for sure in the motor I had some like grease flung out of the inside but uh, it worked the other problem I had with this 
when I was drilling these two and three eighths holes, it was going through a two by four and then going through this metal beam. Um, I had literally tore up my other hole saws and I had to go get some of the good Milwaukee lifetime guarantee hole saws. And this thing bound up and when I, my hand came off of it, the trigger locked down. So this was like twisted into this weird predicament under a bind and that would not release and the motor actually started smoking. The smoke was coming out the back. I had to reach over and unplug it and unplugged it. The switch released and um, so I'm not for sure just what happened with that there. Um, this I didn't think I was going to really need to unscrew that but when I was working I found sometimes when I needed to take this off to fit in a tight spot, I wish that there was some sort of little clip, you know, they had put a little clip there to where this would stay. So when you take this off, these two would stay together. And other than that, I um, definitely think you can't go wrong for the price. I noticed at Harbor Freight um, that they've got the new Bauer. It looks exactly like this, um, just red. And it's the exact same price, $55. So um, I would probably go with the Bauer over this one just because it looks better. And I found that some of the Bauer stuff seems to be upgraded just a little bit over the uh, Chicago Electric. Um, but if I could get a 20% coupon off of this one and not on the Bauer, I would go with this one for 20% cheaper. Um, so definitely um, it is what it is. So far as you can see, it's, I would be what I would say broken in. It's not been used and abused, but I've used it for the last couple of months and um, more than I thought I would. And uh, this thing hasn't let me down yet. So hopefully this helps you.